Step one in pattern making is uh, taping the last. The idea is to make two-dimensional model of the three-dimensional object. And uh, for that we'll start with a uh, painter's tape uh, and uh, taping the last from the bottom. Okay, we make sure that the lines are straight and uh, overlap oh sorry overlap each other a bit I'm sorry for it's not very convenient to hold the last and the tape and uh, to keep the angle for the camera but I'm trying to At the back we go just a bit over the center line because we'll work on each side of the last at a time. I will fast forward to make that process a little bit faster. You overlap each next level just enough to make sure that they hold it each other. You don't need to cover the last completely. And it's easier to start from the back. Start from the back, overlap, and then pull it. Pull it like you are pulling leather when you last the shoe. Also at the front we don't have to cover the other side, only up to the center line. And uh, if you see wrinkles, take that line, unglue it and glue again. Okay, so we are good in this area, only part of the cone rest, so I'll start taping this. We'll start marking the insole level and the uh, easier way to do it you can go with a pen and then cut or just use some rough sandpaper and uh, sand, sand it off. You will see when it detaches, so you can take the rest from here. Okay. Okay. 
and now marking center lines. So center line at the cone. It's very easy to see. And just top of the cone. Okay. Uh, front is the middle of the front. You can check from the bottom. This way. Okay, back. What we can do at the back? Uh, I can use a ruler. It's probably easier to see this way. <coughs> so if we set the ruler a little bit away from the uh, from the point, we uh, we know that uh, center line at the back is approximately somewhere here. So uh, I'll move ruler and take mid point. I feel that that will be my bottom center and uh, I'll do the same at the top so that's my top okay now to connect those points one of the ways is to use a tape as a ruler You glue the tape there and pull it straight oops, pull it straight down. Okay, let's do let's do the same front. Next step, uh, we are getting ready to flatten the 3D model into 2D surface. So we are taking, very accurate, we are taking uh, our tape from the last. We are trying not to pull it too hard. Okay, and now it's very important to flatten it properly. So what do we do? We are using 
two points at the front and at the back as two nails and we are trying to nail it down here so we let it sit in there so this point and that point nailed we go next next and more in the middle and then the center line flattens So when center line locked, we are going into all other directions. Okay, and then making cuts. Once we have a 2D model of one side of the last, we tape the second side and flatten it as well. So now we have uh, two forms, two 2D models of the last, from outside of the last and inside of the last, and uh, we'll start with the outside one, trace it. We did trace outside form, we take the inside form, Turn it uh, upside down and place it on top so its seat would match. Toe, front part of the toe would uh, touch the line and the curve, these two curves would meet in the middle. So I meet the curve in the middle, I touch this point and I touch 
that point. Again, we place the inside form on top so they would meet in the middle of the back at the bottom here and at the top front. So one, two and three points and pencil it. Okay, so our main form, we're gonna use the bottom line external and then this will make our mean form for that last. So <clears throat> this and that and that is our mean form. Now I'm cutting it out. <clears throat> 